from the manufacturer's electronic toilets in England. These are some of the invoiced images. This is being set in uh, a very busy museum in Toronto. We have over 100 users uh, every day. These are two separate toilets for men and women. This is, this is common in a shopping mall. This is a heritage uh, location. This is a another location. And if you come to the, what, what is so special about the toilet is that it's, it has a compact design. You don't, it, it's not a brick and mortar toilet. It, it can be completely fabricated in uh, any fabrication facility that is available. We have an asset like model. We don't have an our in-house fa fabrication facility. We tie it to uh, suppliers. And it's made of steel or fiber. And it can integrate with city's uh, power distribution system. We need power that, 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 that comes around one kilowatt hour per day. And we conserve. We always uh, research more in conserving the various resources like water, which is very scarce in India. And we have also ensured that we are working on a public infrastructure for the urban areas. The access and the ambience is very important. So we have tried to uh, inter incorporate the Access is controlled through an automated system using coin validity. And if it comes into that, it's completely up to a local government to decide that you can have coin validator based access or you can just make it completely free of uh, the entry can be very free. And the whole crux of the fact is that we have developed a web access, uh, a web backend, where you can see the status of the units, whether it's working, whether it's a water tank, if it's full or not, any of the sensors are not functioning. Web-based backend control, and above all, when we come back to the sustainability of the toilet, we have provided a high-end advertisement space where uh, you can display the advertisements. And interestingly, the state governments or the government of Kerala is the highest spender of advertisement I mean, uh, when compared to any corporate sector. And they are also planning to divert some of the socially relevant uh, information to the public through these advertisement spaces. So this brings in uh, kind of revenue for the local bodies, which from which they can maintain uh, fund the uh, maintenance fund. And again, bringing in the serviceability aspect of it, the, we we want to have this completely unmanned, but there will be troubleshooting required for electronics and all. So for that, we have uh, inbuilt a self-checking GPRS-based uh, remote control mechanism, and you can have a, there's an alert system within the uh, Toilets where the user, if you find that there's a no water or any problem with the system, they can alert a control room. This is how the toilet functions. It has an indication, a red or light indication, a person can enter. And once he can enter through a coin validator, there's a sliding door which opens and the person goes in. And apart from this electronic interface, there is nothing electronic about it. You get in, it's a manual door. Once it's again based on PIR sensors, so once you enter the lights and fan, which uh, gets, uh, uh, I mean, works on. And this is an Indian squatting type uh, toilet. We can definitely integrate uh, the Western type of toilets uh, in, in certain locations like tourist uh, places where the governments have come forward and asked for that. Once you enter, you have the uh, all other uh, facilities within a toilet. And uh, you, when you take the typical Indian condition, certain cases you may require a floor wash to be done so that you feel that it's clean and uh, hygienic. Then uh, we have a manual and an auto flush. Even if there's no flush done by the person, if once it gets out, uh, with a motion sensor, there's an auto flush after every use. And uh, uh, there is a floor wash and emergency cleaning system. It all, these are all optional. It depends on how you can set the time. After every five years or after every 10 years, you can have the uh, platform clean. And that's how a person, and once they exit, it's, uh, it's a normal toilet. These are some of the images. Uh, on the one hand, the extreme uh, left is a school model, which we have implemented in over 100 schools in uh, Kerala. Uh, there are so, we have set up in different locations, like a busy marketplace, uh, 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 an exhibition event, a museum, and places like that. These are some of the other images. One of the extreme light, uh, right top is a she toilet which is uh, being implemented uh, with the help of Kerala Women's Development Corporation. It's for the women. Uh, these toilets have a napkin incinerator and napkin vending machine. There are 20 toilets already coming up in the, in, in the uh, state. 
and uh, the corporation is also planning to implement over 200 uh, toilets. Similarly, we have the public works department which uh, want to set up eaves on TE toilet, all fancy names, uh, for the, because women uh, population is more in Kerala, so uh, you have to appease the women. So uh, that's she toilet is also coming up in various places. And this is the status. We now have over uh, 300 already uh, installed in the uh, various places in Kerala and outside. Another 100 is uh, in the process of being installed. It, these are all uh, done under partnership with governments. Since we are being in government, we know how to work with the government. And uh, the government has recognized for this uh, noble effort. And there have been a lot of support from various funds in government and the uh, political level. This is the place from where we come. It's in the southernmost tip of India called Kerala. It goes on country. This is our installation status. These are four, uh, 14 districts in uh, Kerala, and uh, these are the installations uh, being done across these districts. See, this is how uh, our politicians have uh, uh, I mean, taken up this uh, initiative. Uh, barring all uh, ideological and political differences, they have come forward and supported us. But there have been so much of enthusiasm among the this, this is a minister, health minister who has come forward and uh, inaugurated uh, the uh, toilets. Uh, this is the mayor of uh, Trivandrum. She has supported us. This is another celebrity movie star. This is a toilet which is coming up in uh, one of the uh, children's park. And this is how the advertisements and the public information are displayed uh, on the outside the toilet. This is a school model where we have integrated a sense of hygiene with some cartoon characters with the children. You would be surprised to know that some of the girl students in Kerala or in the rest of India, they don't go, go to the schools during the seven days of their month because they don't have proper toilet or menstrual hygiene facilities available. So they keep off from uh, schools. And that's why we have integrated these kind of... This, in these toilets, we don't have coin entry or things like that, but just cleaning mechanism. And you can have a remote control system where you can, the principal of the school can shut down the toilets after school hours. This has been the kind of support we have been receiving. And the state government has given us, uh, given, uh, announced 50% subsidy for the local bodies. Kerala has a very uh, efficient three-tier system and uh, the local bodies are buying these toilets. Taxation has been reduced from 12 to 5 percentage. Uh, we have been partnering with a lot of public se sector undertaking to market the uh, take across these toilets. Our well, ultimate vision is to have a connected e toilet infrastructure. It could be a network of toilets across different states, across different regions. Now, we are not selling toilets, single toilets alone. Some state governments like Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra have come forward and asked us, can you, we need 3,000 toilets. Can you set up a completely e toilet infrastructure for us? And can you maintain it for the next seven years? That's a, the that's a kind of uh, inquiry which is coming up, and we are glad to work in that front. And this e toilet infrastructure is something where you can plan your travel. Being a Kerala, being a place where tourism tourist, tourist grows so much, we are planning to map and connect the toilet so that when you go to Kerala tourism.org, you can see the e toilet infrastructure. We already have one in place, it's a place called Patanamitta, it's a district in Kerala. We have 50 toilets in an 80 kilometer radius. You can see this, whether this toilet is working, whether it's bottom is down, or it's under service, or a lot of other information can be made available. This is the place where we find a great challenge, a critical challenge, where, and we are also hopeful that all these deliberations in these two days uh, will help us in identifying and working with reliable partners who can help us in this serious treatment plan. Because the kind of installations which we are coming across is huge. But we definitely need partners who can help us in the sludge management part of it. Right now we have three options. One is uh, the, the conventional uh, sewage line, but it's very less, the network is very less in Kerala, India. The second is a septic tank, which is not, not at all encouraged by any of the local bodies. And the third one is the anaerobic digestion. We are working with a partner based out of Italy. But the scale of operation is very limited. We are one part. So I am very glad to know that uh, the new gen technology, which, uh, which is discussed much before my presentation, uh, suits very well and similar others. So we are very, very keen on partnering and we have inquired with uh, uh, the Gates Foundation on whether we can work uh, with some of the uh, 
partners in this sector. And uh, we also are working more into reducing the kind of water levels, uh, water requirements, because we understand water is scarce across any other place. This is how we plan to evolve our product. There are two streams. One is completely in the health and sanitation, where we have the high-end public models, and which, which will come down to a low cost, which can be suitable, suitable for uh, households and uh, places like uh, okay, Alapura, which is, uh, which is surrounded by sea. And the second one is a completely an infrastructure company, which will work more into the socially relevant projects like health, sanitation, safety, security, and things like that. So the two streams of activities of our company. But when you focus more into the product development or the further for product refinement, we would like to introduce more of our green technology, uh, like uh, the solar energy, environment enhancement activities. Then uh, there are certain higher models which we use for the Middle East that has come as part of the Middle East requirements. Customizing more into the women and the other underprivileged se sector, like the urban poor, who can go and buy a toilet and a plug and play model and they can install it. There's no brick and mortar toilet in it and have a STP tank connected to it. Then we have all those optimization activities where the seat cover automation, pressure washing system, and these two are done as part of the Great Gates uh, Foundation grant. And we definitely want to improve upon the ambience and design, the kind of material we use. This is how we evolve on the product. These are two activities which we are currently working on under the grant. One is the toilet seat sterilization and the power flushing mechanism. And these are no way connected with e-toilet. It could well be with, come along with an e-toilet, but we would like to unbundle these two issues from the e-toilet and have uh, modular or universally viable uh, solutions. These, I would say that these are all available across various places in the world. But our challenge is to find out cost-effective solutions where you can have it in any of the communities, any of the rural or an urban poor uh, household, in the, or in a in an urban uh, setup. This is how we plan to do the house toilets and for the uh, public toilets where you use minimum energy or no energy at all. This is another challenge where you have use less than 4 litres of water for uh, sucking, out of, uh, sucking the solid waste out of the uh, closets. This is an indicative figure only. So our vision is to have a universally accessible and affordable public sanitation. I mean, that's what we always think of and not yet reach to a household level, but definitely would like to. And have uh, the optimum utilization of the resources and self-sustaining. It's, it's very key to uh, any kind of soil sanitation solution. It's not just a matter of having a solution, but maintaining it and having a sustainability aspect built into it. And that is our ultimate vision. You, can, you should have public toilets across geographies, which will be of global standards. You can have integrate with uh, globally or locally relevant applications. And yes, definitely, there have been so many deterrents, like why should we have a technology, but we'll definitely go along with uh, the technology as far as possible, because technology is going to be less costly in the coming years. And benefits that will trickle down from the, house, the urban power, uh, public infrastructure to uh, household levels. And these, this is our company. We, we are not, we are relatively a young entrant into this area. We are part of a group around the group which is based out of Saudi Arabia. And we, we work in different sectors like uh, solid waste management, rainwater harvesting, and uh, so many other streams where it has some social relevance. Our mission is to be a pioneer in developing broad solutions. And, and Definitely we have to supplement all efforts to safeguard our environment and the world. And within this short span of uh, two years, we have been the recipient of many of the awards, uh, like uh, these, uh, these which are listed. This has been, we have considered this as a recognition for our initiatives and uh, the, kind, the kind of product we have brought in, the innovation we have brought in, and we are really, really glad that we could work with partners like uh, you, national uh, forum uh, and we can share our uh, strengths, weaknesses and uh, synergize on most of our strengths. So as we all uh, share a common uh, thought that whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. We prefer to think we can 
and we were still just uh, two days of interaction with you, we definitely feel we all together can make a difference. Thank you for the patience.